pretty shortly after that, the call goes out, you know, World War I has arrived, the Great War, who will help, basically? Whether you're French or not, we just need help. And he had fallen so deeply in love with France to that point that he signed up with, uh, without question. Um, at this point, he was actually, you know, a soldier. He fought at Verdun and was twice wounded, I think. He saved other soldiers while he was there. Um, and ultimately, after he convalesced, he was awarded the Croix de Guerre. And that's a big deal, right, for um, a French decoration. It uh, means a lot. So quickly, he's moved to Paris. He's involved himself in this very heroic um, scenario, and now he's pretty much a big deal in France. He's famous um, in Paris. He's given the option at that point um, to, you know, sit at a desk or something. You know, you, let's just give you a break. You blew your leg half off, practically. And he said, actually, I'm interested in being a fighter pilot now. Um, so the next step was, of course, not to settle it's just to find who he is. He said, I want to push myself further. And, and he defied convention to become the first black fighter pilot in World War history. 